Okay. Let's get into the tips. So I have a few tips coming up, and these tips will kind of lead us on a path to see how we can modify optics in different ways. So tip number one is leave your surfaces alone. Might seem obvious, but pretty much any edge dimension we can change means we can skip all those grinding and polishing steps that we would normally do to make a custom optic. So one way to leave the surfaces alone is to do a diameter reduction. A diameter reduction is just that. You're taking a large diameter optic and making it a smaller diameter. Perhaps your application calls for a lens barrel that's already built and you'd like it to fit in that lens barrel. Well, we could change the diameter so that it fits that lens barrel perfectly. Another way to leave the surfaces alone is something called a truncation. Now a truncation is basically taking a round optic and just kind of putting some linear sides on the edge. So something like this would be considered a truncated optic. It started out life as a full circle and we've just cut two of the edges off. The customer in this case might be doing this to save weight in their application. If it's a very weight sensitive use, stripping off kind of the fat of the lens can really help in that case. Two other ways that we can leave the surfaces alone are what's called a linear cut to size. This is kind of more the route of making linear cuts to glass. So for instance, you have a large window and you'd like to cut it up into a bunch of smaller windows, that could be achieved by this method. The fourth method is something called core drilling. Now core drilling is a little bit unique compared to the others. Core drilling will use something called a core drill, which is basically a ring or donut shaped drill, and you can core out a section of your lens or filter, for instance. So here in the picture, I am showing a mounted filter. Many of our filters in the catalog have an aluminum ring fixed to the outside diameter. If we want to access just the glass in the center, we've discovered that core drilling is a great way to achieve that. So the core drill just comes in and cores out the center piece, and we're left with just a free piece of filtered glass. Now I'd like to just take a quick minute to highlight a customer success story we had around leaving the surfaces alone. So we had a customer come to us several months ago, and that customer was using a condenser lens in their system to focus some form of light. And what they've noticed though is the condenser lens had a pretty loose focal length tolerance. And because it had a loose focal length tolerance, they found that they were moving their mechanics around quite a bit in order to kind of fine tune each individual assembly. Well, they came to us and we told them that, well, if you use a tech spec A-sphere from our catalog, it has a much more tightly toleranced focus, which means you wouldn't have to move your mechanics around. They were thrilled at this option. However, when they went to add it to the system, they discovered that the diameters didn't really match. So they came back to us and we said, not a problem. We will take the diameter and carry out a diameter reduction. Just reduce the diameter down to the pre-existing mount size and that fit perfectly into their system. We had the parts to them within two weeks and it was, worked perfectly.